eastern side of Africa runs a 4,000 mile long scar in the Earth's crust. It's called the Great Rift Valley, and over millions of years, three vast lakes have formed here. Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, and Lake Malawi. The story of how cichlids evolved to be so unique coincides with the birth of the first great lake. Thermal activity deep beneath the earth stretched and fractured the tectonic plates, producing a great rift. Ten million years ago, rivers began to drain into this rift and a lake formed. This was Lake Tanganyika. Eight million years ago, tectonic activity beneath East Africa's savanna still raged, causing another deep tear in the Earth's crust. Then, Lake Tanganyika overflowed, creating new river systems to the south, which began draining into the crevice. And by four million years ago, another deep lake formed, Lake Malawi. Some fish spilled out of Lake Tanganyika and were swept along the rivers towards the new lake. But only one species of cichlid survived the epic 100-mile journey. It was a mouth brooder from this family called Haplochromidae. According to evolutionary scientist Professor Tom Kotcher, it was probably just a single species that invaded the lake. The migration from Tanganyika to Malawi wasn't a, a quick migration in a flood, it was a long traverse through many miles of rivers. It's a mystery how long the migration would have taken, but it's likely that haplochromid would have reproduced along the way mouth brooding would have ensured the survival of its offspring. What happened next in Lake Malawi is unprecedented in the history of the planet. In just over one million years, the founding population of cichlids exploded from one to many different branches, resulting in over 500 different species.